Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'm going to be breaking down as well as discussing the absolute best class setup for the AUG Tactical Rifle here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So of course, guys, welcome back to another best class setup for the Yell here in Cold War. And quite frankly, it's been quite a little while since the last time I've done one of these videos. However, I wanted to switch it up, do something a little bit different, and do a classic live commentary best class setup. And I thought it'd only be appropriate to check out the legendary AUG Tactical Rifle here in Black Ops Cold War, which is personally one of my favorite weapons in the this game it's a lot of fun to use and it's very powerful so that's a come I want to check it out and in addition to that a lot of people have been talking about the AUG because it's been kind of a superstar when it comes to weapons in Cold War because there have actually been two brand new packs that were added into the game that have two legendary blueprints for the AUG tactical rifle the first one is the tracer pack year of the AUX bundle which of course has the legendary golden AUX blueprint for this weapon and let me just say this particular blueprint looks really cool in my opinion and naturally it also has gold tracers in addition to that there's also been the top secret admirer pack and in this pack you do end up getting another legendary blueprint for the AUG tactical rifles and yeah because of all those reasons that's what kind of I wanted to check it out and do a best class setup on it in today's video so without further ado let's dive right to it that said of course as you guys can see this is the class setup now doing a brief rundown for my primary weapon I will be using the standard variation of the AUG now if you guys would like to use any blueprints including and not limited to the brand new blueprints that were added into the shop a couple days ago feel free to go ahead and do so for my secondary weapon I will be using the Gallo SA-12, and then for my tactical, I will be using Stim Shot. Lethal is going to be the Semtex Grenade. The field upgrade is, of course, going to be the Field Mic. And now let's talk a little bit about my perk setup, in which I will be using Tactical Mask, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, Assassin, Spycraft, as well as Ghost. And of course, naturally, since I have six perks, I'm going to be using the Perk Grid Wildcard. So now let's talk a little bit about the attachments that I am going to be running on my AUG. For my first one, I will be using the Mill Stop Reflex Sight, which is just going to allow us to be a little bit more precise when using this weapon. For our second attachment we are going to be using the 18.2 inch strike team barrel which will be increasing the damage by 14% as well as the fire rate by 11% of course this is kind of a no nonsense barrel there's no wishy-washy terminology or anything this barrel is just going to straight up give you more damage as well as a faster fire rate so that's how come I want to go ahead and use it moving on down for our next attachment we are going to be using the front grip which will be increasing the horizontal recoil control by a whopping 30% next attachment is going to be the salvo 54 R&D fast mag which will be increasing the magazine ammo capacity, max starting ammo, as well as ammo capacity all by a whopping 80%, in addition to increasing the reload quickness by 35%. So now let's move on down and talk about our final attachment, which is naturally going to be the airborne elastic wrap, which will be increasing the aim down sight time by 30%, as well as the flinch resistance by 90%, and give us the added benefit of being able to aim while going into the prone position. In addition to that, I'm also of course going to be using diamond camo, which in my opinion, looks really darn good on the AUG tactic rifle and where's the camo okay yeah there it is but let me just say i think out of all the weapons in this game the AUG is up there when it comes to looking good with diamond camo so with that said let's move on down and talk a little bit about my secondary weapon which is going to be the gallo sa12 now if you guys would like to use any of the pistols or a launcher or melee weapon feel free to go ahead and do so however of course myself i am going to be using the shotgun and my attachments on it are going to be the 24.6 inch ranger barrel the tiger team spotlight the 12 rnd tube the speed tape as well as of course the tactical stock so yeah guys with all that said if you go on to enjoy this video make sure you leave a like on it down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of duty news class clips and all kinds of things like that so without further ado now that i got the intro out of the way i'll see you when i join up to my first game and all right guys as you can see of course we are going to be joining up into our first game and this time we are going to be playing a standard match of hardpoint here on nuketown and of course for this particular game we are going to be joining up right from the beginning so that's what you like to see and with all that said, let's see exactly how well we can do. Okay, it's been quite a little while since the last time I did a live commentary best class of the video. However, I want to do something a little bit different, switch it up. I thought it'd be a little bit fun to go ahead and do a class of the video. And this time, of course, we are going to be checking out the AUG, which is personally one of my favorite weapons in this game. I don't know about you guys. However, I've always had a fondness for the burst fire weapons. You know, it doesn't matter if it was the classic M16 from Call of Duty 4, the G11 from Black Ops 1, the MA87 from Black Ops 3, or the AUG tactical rifle here in Cold War. I've always enjoyed using them. And I don't know about you guys, but in many cases, this particular AUG, or at least this version of the AUG, really reminds me of the ABR223 from Black Ops 4, which, interestingly enough, similar to the AUG, was one of my favorite weapons in that game. And actually, if I remember correctly, I think I did end up dropping a nuclear with the ABR-223 back in Black Ops 4, which, of course, I'm not a pub stomper, I'm not like I drop nuclears every single game, and okay, there we go.
about the limited nuclears that I do have, one of them belongs to the AUG. Also, I remember that I'm only using UAV as well as counter UAV, which isn't exactly the best idea, but I was using it because I was trying to unlock some camos where you have to get kills while the enemy is either stunned by a piece of equipment or is tagged on a personal radar or something like that. And of course, one of the easiest ways to get that challenge done is constantly spam up UAV and counter UAV. And essentially how it works is every kill that you get when you have a UAV or counter UAV up is going to be counting, which is extremely useful. And that's what I was doing a little bit earlier today. But after this game, if I remember correctly, because I'm always very bad with remembering to change my score streaks. I'm going to be switching over. I'm going to be using my classic score streak setup, which is UAV, War Machine, as well as Hater. All right, that was so close. We got another point blank medal. Okay, that's what you like to see. Too bad I wasn't getting those with some of my submachine guns a couple weeks ago. There's a guy in that corner. My goodness. Well, I guess I am properly because I got a headshot on the person. So that's always good. All right, we're just going to wait a second here. I know I'm camping with a shotgun, but we got to we gotta maintain this hard point. All right, there we go. Nice double kill. Yeah, they're going to be coming right around that bus. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be our second set of score streaks. I'll admit, once again, it's not like it's a really big flex to be dropping all these UAVs and counter UAVs, but hey, it's something. That's one thing they have to keep in mind about the AUG, especially if you are going to be using this class it up. And as the AUG is kind of a short to medium range engagement tactical rifle, because you really have kind of two subsections of tactical rifles being... They have the tactical rifles like the Type 63 or the DMR-14 where the weapons are so powerful that you can really use them effectively at any range and they are going to be excelling at those medium to longer range engagements. That's how come the weapons are so potent in Warzone. However, they have the AUG which really excels at those close to medium range engagements. As you guys haven't seen throughout the gameplay, I've been getting consistent one to two burst kills at point blank range or at really close range in general. However, once you start going to those medium to longer range engagements, the damage of this weapon really starts to fall off. So you really have one of two options and that is you either modify the class up and use a barrel that, that really extends your effective damage range and your build velocity and all kinds of things like that which is going to be severely hampering your movement and it's not going to allow you to perform as well at those close to medium range engagements. Or instead, you are going to be maybe struggling a little bit at those longer range engagements. But as you guys can see in the games, at least if you are going to be playing on Nuketown, you're going to have absolutely no worries. And all right, guys, as you can see, of course, we are going to be joining up into our second game. And this time, we'll be playing a standard match of Kill Confirmed here on Nuketown. And yeah, with all that said, let's see exactly how well we can do. Of course, for this particular game, I decided to switch up my score streaks to using the standard score streak setup that I would use. And hopefully these score streaks are going to be helping out my teammates a little bit more. They're just a constant spam of UAVs as well as counter UAVs. So yeah, with all that said, let's see what we can do. Oh, I think they're going to be over here. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's what I thought, but that was extremely close. Also, guys, I'm really interested in knowing, and that's what are your thoughts, as well as what are you hoping to see in Black Ops Cold War Season 2? Because, of course, at the time of me making this video, and at the time of me actually uploading this video, and the time of you watching this video, we all know that Season 2 is going to be releasing very shortly, and at this very point in time, on February 13th, we really don't know much information when it comes to Season 2, other than the fact that it's going to be releasing on Wednesday the 24th, which is just about 10 days from now at the time of me making this video, and if you guys haven't already make sure you comment down below what are some things that you would like to see in season two for example what dlc weapons would you like to see return or would you like to see new dlc weapons all kinds of things like that and at least for myself I know we've seen it in many different Black Ops games at this point. However, I would like to see the Galil return in Season 2. I think that'd be really cool. Especially because I think it'd be really interesting to see that sort of full auto assault rifle in Cold War. But that's just my own opinion. And I also am really hoping to see some sort of map change in Warzone, of course. We've been kind of playing on the same map ever since Season 6 release for Modern Warfare. 
which is coming up on just about five months ago at the time you're making this video which is pretty crazy to think about but yeah my main two things that i would like to see the galil maybe some new maps that'd be really cool as well as a new point of interest or some sort of map change in warzone that'd be really neat all right there we go well, it looks like they're probably going to be starting to spawn on the other side of the map Oh my. Oh my goodness. We were absolutely going off. Oh, we just got the war machine. Okay. Something I did not get to see in the last game. What is that guy using? Oh my. You don't see that that often. Okay, let's call on this harp. Yeah, there we are. Now we know exactly where these people are hiding. Okay. Okay, that's going to be the merciless. Wait. Yeah, there was a guy who was sitting right in that corner. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this harp, absolute best score streak in the game. And just as I say that, it starts to go away. Oh my goodness. Bad timing. We just got another war machine. Okay. I mean, this game's gonna be ending off shortly. However, luckily enough, my teammates are smart. They're deliberately not collecting tags. So that way this game can continue on a little bit more. Who knows, maybe? If I'm playing against enough people, I might be able to get this nuke, I don't know. And all right, guys, that's, of course, going to be the game. And we're going 43 and 9, making for quite the good game, in my opinion. And I hope you guys went on to enjoy it. And all right, guys, that's going to effectively wrap up today's video. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below, as well as subscribe, and turn on post notifications, so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, class clubs, and all kinds of things like that. So once again, that's going to effectively wrap up this video. I've been your host, Steve for Jungle. I hope to see you in the next one.